These painstaking stitches have been made by Palestinian women for generations. When this embroidery was sewn by hand, completing one dress could take from a few months to more than a year. They were once used to adorn villagers' garments and headdresses, but today you can find the classic triangular patterns of tatris on everything from shoes to cell phones. Here in the Bakar camp, 30% of people are living below the Jordanian poverty line. But the online marketplace has taken these women's designs all over the world. The initiative, called Threads, creates partnerships with women refugees in the camp. Its founder, Basma Nazer, says it helps them earn a livelihood without having to leave their homes. Our goal is to create partnerships with the women of the camp to help them out. There are women who are unable to leave their homes to promote their products. So we want to help them produce and promote their products all over the world. The benefits that reach the camp aren't just financial. It's also a way to educate Bakar's young girls about their heritage. The girls not only learn to sew, they're even given products to take home. Whenever they sell an outfit, they give the same outfit to a young girl in the camp. Threads also takes inspiration from refugees' daily lives. One upcoming line will feature purses with wedding-themed embroidery, which will go to support young couples getting married in the camp. While women in refugee camps are making modern-day products to ensure Tatriz survives, others inside Palestine are working to preserve its history. The Palestinian Museum in the occupied West Bank has hosted exhibits there and in Beirut, deconstructing the patterns in the fabric. Palestinian embroidery is extremely rich in this sense. It has a language, arguably, a vocabulary, dialects of its own. Because despite being not a huge territory, Palestine had extraordinarily multifaceted modes of making embroidery. So uh, the work from Ramallah is different from the work from Beit Lahem, is different from the kinds of motifs that were practiced in Jerusalem. Back in Bakar, the seamstresses say that their work is its own form of cultural resistance, ensuring their heritage is not forgotten by the children of the camps. Ben said, TRT World.